What's going on, guys? Tom Boy 601, and this is Red Dead Redemption. Um, they recently installed basically a 4K patch for it over on the Xbox One X, and I decided, you know what? It's time to go back to this game and give it a good old playthrough in anticipation of Red Dead Redemption 2. So uh, I'm hoping this is going to be like a weekly series. I'm going to put in some time to uh, Red Dead Redemption, and I hope you guys come and uh, join me on this grand adventure. So uh, without further ado, we're just going to dive on in. Right, so first cuts in summation. We rode a train to Armadillo. There's some good old people on there, some who believe the savages, that be the Indians, need to... Uh, he helped tamed, and a uh, kind of a priest that was mighty creepy. Let's uh, head on into the saloon of Armadilla. Oh boy! All right, the summation. This man's been hired to help be our guide. I.e., he's given us a tutorial. Let's follow good old Jake. You ain't gonna find sturdier horses than these in all of New Orleans. If that's what you keep saying, they can flow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of dust. Okay, we're going to Fort Mercer. Get away from course. God, this game is beautiful. If you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians. Or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, I you, were gonna you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old Serena back to you. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is my gang? This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Do, 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 do. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! <laughs> Don't make me kill you! Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill! Uh-oh. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Yes. We all need saving Bill, these days, please. sir. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you, 
You implore me? <laughs> you implore me! You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Implores you. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor Jim. Oh, hey, it's the lady from the well, train. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna. Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Okay. <laughs> you hear the train. There's the train. Very quiet. Okay. Let's go. Bloody Marston. Wow, well, why do I have a gold Mr. gun? Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. Oh, I'm happy kind. enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property.
go. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Oh, now, where'd dang. you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Howdy. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. That's so. Uh... That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. God, this is a really pretty game for whole. And this. here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. I could use a rest. Sure, come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me oh, telling hey. you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and Look, got, other undesirable? Look, I got jacket on. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. open and try not to get yourself shot again oh ha 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 we're so yeah. funny i get shot one time you just keep making that joke thank you mr marston i feel a lot happier someone's along with me i feel a lot happier now i got a rifle well with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition we should make quite a team Yeah, fuck those rabbits. Let's go. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Let's go. Easy. Come on. Easy now. 
Oh god, the chicken's taking the shots! That's a bulletproof chicken right there. Miss McFarlane. Ooh. Let's see if we can earn us a little extra money. Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. <laughs> what is it, boy? Someone come to the blacksmiths. Wake him up. Wake him up. Go on. Come on. No? Okay. We got a cattleman revolver and a repeater carbine. Let's keep the carbine with us. That should be a decent weapon, okay. What's that? Okay, it's midnight. We got seven hours. Time to go collect the reward. Thank you, Kang. Don't forget page. Fifteen dollars. Time to take a snap.
Miss Bonnie. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. No, oh, well, I apologize that sweet. if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Ooh, challenge accepted. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Yeah. 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 Let him relax before we're taking our money. Get that nitrous in. On the count of three. Three, two. It's a three. Go. One. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Mr. Okay. Farland. Let's go. Come on, boy. Let's go, Mr. Farland. Come on. Are you saving the best for last? Should I wait for you to catch up? Yeah. Keep the path, keep the path. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Ooh, check corner, check corner. Accelerate out, accelerate oh. out. How you doing back there? I can't hear you, Miss McFarland. Would you like Come me to on. slow down? Come on. Yeah. That's scripted right there. Don't go easy on me. Come on, boy. Come on. See you at the finish line. I have got you now. Come on. You're not as bad as I thought you'd be. There we Get go. Up. Get that lead. Why don't I lead the way? Let's go! There we go, there we go, there we go. Power, power, power. Come on, easy up now. done <laughs> that was fun sure you know you should go pay the marshal a visit in armadillo sometime i'm sure he could help you deal with that nice mr williamson 
Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. There we go. Let's go visit the general store. Let's see what's inside this here ranch's general store. Welcome. I hope we have what you need. Possibly. Howdy. I'm sure you'll find something you like here. That lasted five hours, I heard. Well, hello there. No, you ain't got no weapons. Thanks a lot. Let's visit Mr. McFarland again. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland, how are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Ooh, boy. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I uh -oh. do either. Oh, don't be they, so deliberately enigmatic. Okay, I'm not, miss. They look like yes, you are. You are being us. deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Out of the way, no, they're mad. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit. It's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, oh please. Dang. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. Oh, stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern we for us see. lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Here we are almost an army. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Yeah, well, we're so here. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Will do. Time to go take my medicine. 
Excellent to see you today. Dear sir, hello. I got to stop to them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Stay away from the salt pork and tobacco. for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Ha ha ha. You're so funny. Alright guys, I think that's a good place to end this first playthrough. We've been a good ranch hand, and uh, next time we're going to tour ourselves around Armadillo. Guys, if you liked this video, I hope you did. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.